Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So today we've got a used 2021 four-star four-horse living quarters. Now, we ended up getting this trailer and a Freightliner hauler in on a deal. Uh, it's a beautifully set up trailer. This trailer's hardly been used. Uh, we're not gonna tell you it's new, cause it's not, it's been used. Um, but when we bring trailers in here, whether we bring them in on trade or we purchase them, um, we kind of have a, a set kind of procedure that we run them through our two service departments. Why there's two service departments is because this is a living quarters. So we have a chassis shop that will go through this trailer as far as realigning it. We do that to every single trailer. You know, we check brakes, bearings, try to go th through the trailer as thoroughly as we can. We service the generator on it. Uh, then when it goes across the street, to our household shop. Again, the main focus over there is more motor homes, but we put these living quarters through there because it's the same, same type of concept and same type of uh, amenities and options that you would see on campers and, and motor homes. So over there, we'll go through the water system, we'll check LP systems, we'll check batteries. You know, we'll check the general just operation of the trailer. We service the appliances. Uh, so we go through these trailers very, very thoroughly. And then we wash them and we always look at tires. Now, since this is a 2021, and again, hardly been used, uh, this trailer came in in exceptionally good shape. We really didn't have to do a whole lot through the shop on the trailer itself, um, but we do take those steps and that's just the standard procedure on every single unit. So again, it's a 21. Let me give you some specs on it. It's 35 foot on the floor. It's eight foot wide. It's seven, six tall. It has a 16-foot living quarters. Now, it's a non-slide trailer, uh, but as far as empty weight on this trailer, too, it's 15,740 pounds empty weight. <clears throat> as we walk through this, I'm going to point some things out, but this is a trailer. If I, I, in my opinion, if you're really running down the road hard, it's extremely set up well. Uh, it's, it is a rear side load that we'll get into, so it does have that real popular full-width rear tack. But let's walk through this trailer and I'll kind of point some things out. Uh, this was a custom build early on, so there's a lot of cool and unique things on this trailer. One of the first things that you'll notice as you walk up to it is it has dual electric over hydraulic jacks. Now, yes, this trailer does not have a slide out on our Cimarron brand that we, we carry. Uh, whenever we have a slide out on one of those trailers, we put the dual jacks. Now this one, again, does not have that slide but it's a bigger trailer, so the dual jacks is definitely nice from the stability standpoint of it. You also have the ability to manually override on these electric over hydraulic by equalizer jacks. Over to the right is a aluminum box, and I'll show you what that stores. Two 30-pound LP bottles. We like upgrading our trailers to the 30-pound uh, propane bottles from the standard 20. You know, listen, if you're on the road, it's not fun to having to change these bottles frequently. This gives you a little bit more capacity as far as carrying propane with you. So we like the 30 pound bottles from that standpoint. Uh, it does have the gauge here in the middle. These actually have the gauges on the tanks too. Uh, I know those are real hard to come by now on newer trailers. Um, eventually the manufacturers will get caught up and maybe we'll see more of those. But these are really nice tanks to have for that reason. Up above them is our dual batteries. But the other cool thing is, is this is this enclosed front end. So now we can roll this down. It keeps that front area nice and clean. I always think it gives these trailers a nice finished look to them as well. But the main thing is it does. It keeps everything nice and clean in there. Uh, there is a bit of a floor in there. You could probably store some items in there, nothing too small. Maybe that's a great place for your tire changing ramp, something along those lines. Now again, this is a 16 foot short wall. This is a Trail Boss conversion. So we contacted Trail Boss. We wanted to see about uh, warranty on this trailer as far as transferable. Uh, from the original purchase date of April of 20, you have three year craftsmanship warranty on this trailer. So from the original purchase date, three years out. Now appliances on this, you know, a lot of times appliances are usually a one year, uh, you know, manufacturer warranty. That's where these appliances fall under. 
uh, but at least from a craftsmanship standpoint, you will get that, that warranty transferred over to you from Trail Boss. Before we jump in, you can kind of see we got a nice, big, massive awning here. You see the LED lights below it. There's some exterior lights, exterior speakers, exterior plugs as well. So it gives you a great place to just sit out here and entertain, you know, roll that out, get out of the sun, and just kind of relax outside this trailer. Let's take a look at this, because this, this is a really cool and unique setup. One of the first things that you'll notice is two seating sleeping areas right here. We've got our dinette that'll fold down into a bed, and then you've got the sofa sleeper that'll fold down into a bed. It's a jackknife style. So again, we've got the ability to have multiple sleeping areas on the dinette, on the sofa, and then obviously up here in the gooseneck, which if you look up there, nice big memory foam mattress. You've got a TV over here to the left, flat screen TV. There's dual TVs in this. This is ducted, so you have the ability to really manipulate the airflow throughout this, this cabin, uh, keeping temperatures nice and consistent by having the ducted air. Uh, and then obviously in the winter time when you turn the furnace on and it rises up, you can turn your heat strip on, your fan, and it'll circulate throughout this trailer as well. The other cool thing is, is this over here above the sofa sleeper drops into a fold down bunk. So we've got a bunk, a sofa, a dinette, and then obviously our gooseneck area up there. Um, kind of circling back into the ducted part of it. So this is a 16 foot short wall, but this is dual ACs. Uh, so this is a 50 amp service trailer, but by having dual ACs on this, I mean, you have more than enough air circulation. You're gonna keep this trailer nice and cool. And then in the winter time, obviously circulate in that furnace. Uh, you'll be able to you know, keep it nice and consistent and uh, warm as well. But really good cabinetry in here. Uh, I, I really like the counters and the, the uh, dinette table here. I think it all works really well. They did a good job picking stuff out. You can kind of see kind of some wood kind of blocks there as far as the backsplash goes. But is it, if you're looking at this kitchen area, one of the hardest things to do is, is try to get you an adequate size living quarters um, without going monstrous, uh, but still get you a lot of kitchen area. But because this trailer doesn't have a slide out and us having to lose some space for the framework of that, it gives us the ability to have this huge counter. I mean, there's a lot of counter space here, which is really hard to come by. Nice, big, wide sink here. And then you've got your recessed two burner cooktop under there. And then you get quite a bit of, of cabinet space as well because we're not losing some space with the actual slide. Uh, convection oven as well. Now what's kind of cool is, and in, in if, if we kind of look at it, this is a really unique ceiling that they did. Um, I almost feel like this trailer feels taller than it is. With it being 7.6, with the lighting that they did, up here on the ceiling, I think when it all, you know, when you get all the lights on, it almost feels like it gets taller. Um, you know, sometimes you'll see companies use mirrors here and there, whether it's on these ceilings, kind of up at the front of the trailer, you know, it gives it a, a depth and a, a larger feel than it really is. And I think that that really did that on this trailer. So again, it was a custom build, so they opted for that. Uh, but again, I think it turned out really, really well. It's a strip LED light that goes all the way around uh, that you can turn on and off as well. You've got two hat racks right above the door. You've got your sliding screen door as well that goes across. Another flat screen TV here for this lower area, your sofa, your dinette area. But again, a lot of cabinet space kind of throughout this cabin here. This is another really cool feature that I, I really like is these, these pullouts here. You know, that's kind of the one thing, I wish we had these in my house. <laughs> this would be awesome. Uh, you know, smaller items when you're traveling, you know, it's real easy to grab. You're not having to dig to the back of the cabinet or anything like that. Really well set up. A big refrigerator and freezer in here as well. We understand you're gonna be traveling a lot. 
long distances, long amount of time. It's nice to be able to have a big refrigerator and freezer, which this does. You have a pocket door coming into the bathroom here, so we don't have to worry about going around the door at all. Real nice bathroom vanity, more counter space as well. Up here in the medicine cabinet, you've got dual doors on that mirror there. A lot of times you'll see one big one, which is really hard to maneuver around. So we, on our trailers, when we build them, the Cimarron was outlaws, we tried to like, you know, do that double if we are dealing with a bigger bathroom vanity just for that reason. And then we've got a radius shower with a skylight. So you get that natural lighting, gives you a little bit more headroom if you're a little bit taller. There is an exhaust fan in here as well that we can turn on and off. This closet here, you've got a clothes rod, adjustable shelves, and then this does come with the, vac the built-in vacuum here. Uh, so we can go ahead and, and use that central vac. We can just go ahead and take the broom and get everything in a nice pile and then just suck it up and get it out of here. And then obviously you have your pass-through door going into your stall area. This does have an uh, escape door. So a lot of times you can use this first stall as a mudroom of some sort, kick off your boots, hop right in the bathroom and hop right into the shower from there. And that is an electric awning there. So it's really nice from the standpoint of we're not having to come out here and mess with it with the manual option. Uh, the electrics and manuals have almost, the price point's almost very, very close. Uh, so you'll see a lot of these conversion companies are actually going with the electric version. As we're stepping back here, you can kind of see it's a, it's a silver sheeting, uh, kind of that mill finish sheeting on the trailer itself. It's got some of the graphics, got some gray, Got some silver and got some maroon kind of mixed in there. So, you know, when we get it all buttoned up, it's a really cool looking, you know, trailer, really sharp from that standpoint. You've got uh, tandem axles on this. These are 8,000 pound axles with really heavy Michelin tires. We love these Michelin tires. Uh, you know, we've got a transporter that tells us he runs those Michelins he feels like he can get almost 100,000 miles out of a set of Michelins. As long as you're keeping close tabs on them, uh, watching your alignment of your trailer, uh, getting anything adjusted, if you are starting to notice something, rotating them, you know, really just taking care of them. But he feels like he can get that type of mileage out of a set of these heavy, heavy duty Michelin tires. So we have drop windows on the hip here. So they're in stalls one, two, and three. On the door going into this rear stall, you just have a bus window. So there's not a drop in that one there, but you do have your drops at one, two, and three going into this. So again, this is our rear side load. We have our ramp with our door going into it. This rear stall is actually wider. This is something we do on our, our uh, new inventory as well, because you have to think about as these horses try to make this turn in here, you know, they're big hipped, they're big, powerful horses. You know, it's kind of an unnatural movement uh, as they're trying to back out of this trailer. So there's some steps that can be done. And this last stall here has the telescoping divider, which really helps from the standpoint of this, transi this transition portion of the trailer right here. So when we telescope this down, it gives us a little bit more room for that horse getting in and out of this trailer. Uh, there's multiple versions of this, but this is a really key part when you are dealing with these rear side loads, cowboy loads, PC loads, whatever you want to refer to them as, uh, you know, getting the horses on and off. But they're padded dividers. They've got snaps on them, so as you can see, I can get them up, you know, out of the way. Stall one has the stud divider that goes to the ground, and it's solid over the hip. So if you're not hauling forehead and you want to use this first stall to really just take some extra whether it's feed shavings 
anything like that you can do it we don't have to th worry about items getting underneath the horse nothing up over the hips so we can stack stuff up to the ceiling if we wanted to speaking of the ceiling this is a line and insulate on this you have your two-way roof vents so one over each horse you've got some led lights in here Now, right above you, behind you there, is a camera. Now, this trailer was built with a camera system. There's one at the back as well. We don't have the monitor for it. Um, it did not get sent with the customer when they brought it in. In fact, we were unaware of it until it got in here. Uh, there is cameras in here, but you'd have to find a monitor, uh, which you know we could probably help you find out what brand it is and point you in the right direction as far as that's concerned. This is worm flooring as well. This is a really cool thing that, that I really like. You never have to pull mats on this trailer. It's unpenetrable, so we don't have to worry about urine getting down into the floor. But more importantly, again, those mats. Pulling those mats out of these type of loads is really difficult because uh, you're dealing with all these angles. And let's be honest, it's never fun wrestling those mats. It's like wrestling an alligator. So. The worm is something, again, we do on some of our inventory trailers as far as our new brands are concerned. Uh, but again, this is equipped with that. I'm a big fan of it. So as we get to the back of the trailer, we'll look up top first. So there is a hay pod ahead of this, this generator box that you see at the back. And what that is, is that's actually a 6,000 diesel generator on this as well. So again, we're a 50 amp service with those dual ACs. We need the power to run those, and that's what you get when you jump up to that 6,000 diesel. It's only got 694 hours. Those diesel generators run extremely well and a long time. You see your ladder going up there. There's a nice platform up there. You know, you're protected on the sides. They extended this back bar, uh, at least to the opening. Uh, so when you get up there, whether you're, you know, having to do something with the generator or loading or unloading out of that hay pod, you know, it's nice and secure. You're not standing on the roof, you're standing on that platform. And then here at the back, again, this is why these rear side load trailers have become so popular over the last couple of years. And that's because of these rear tack rooms. So they, as you can see, have four tier blanket pole rack. Tucked around that corner there is a four tier saddle rack. You see a lot of hooks across the back wall there. And then our spare tire is also located back here as well. And they even went to the extent to put worm flooring rather than a rubber mat or carpet back here in this rear tack room as well. But if you think about, you know, throwing a mid tack on a trailer like this to get a lot of tack space, uh, you know, a lot of times when you're dealing with angles, a four foot mid tack really doesn't work that well. You really need to go with a five foot. Well, then we added five foot of floor link to this trailer. So it's 35 foot on the floor. That's a two foot short wall. So if we went to a five foot mid tack, this trailer is going to be 38 foot on the floor. So it does make a difference when we are looking at building these trailers as far as lengths goes. The other thing is I like it from a safety standpoint. Look, if somebody rear ends you, which, you know, we've seen some accidents, um, it's, never, it's never a good thing to see. Um, it can happen. There is always that possibility. But think about your horses. Now they're hitting the back of this trailer. There's not a horse right there immediately. We have a couple walls in between where your first horse is and then the back of this trailer. Over here on the driver's side, right here at the back, here's our diesel fill for that diesel gin. So you can fuel your pickup up at the pump, pull up, and just fuel that up as well. I've got the drop windows down. You can see the jail bars on them. Now this one, again, with the access door at the front at stall number one, this one does have a drop window in it. So again, on that rear side, that stall number four on that back access door, it just had the bus window. But on this, you have four drops all the way. You do have the jail bars, they can fold down as well. But behind them, I'll just go ahead and get these guys up out of the way. Is mangers. So you do have manger storage on this trailer as well. 
So really good place for a lot of small miscellaneous items. You know, right now we've got the power cord in there. Everything can be locked up as well. This first one's a little bit bigger. The access door is. And then you have your escape door jumping into stall number one. And based on the worm that just looking at this trailer, I kind of have a feeling that majority of the time, I mean, they might have had a horse in here a couple times, but it, to me, it looks like the horses were in two, three, and four majority of the time. Maybe doesn't look like they hauled much up in the stall area, uh, just based on the, the color of the worm itself. But again, you can use this as a, as a mud room as you hop into your bathroom there. But we'll take a step back now that we've got it all shut up you can really see again that that mill finish that silver sheeting there and then you see the graphics on it it is a sharp looking trailer you know those alcohol wheels really dress it up too uh, they did a really good job when they built this trailer on on it, setting it up this is a, again a really well equipped trailer for somebody that's really on the road quite a bit uh, you know doesn't have the slide out but that's still a good size living quarters know a lot of amenities there so I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer again we do take trade-ins but you can give us a call on it again it's a 2021 four star four horse living quarters 16 foot trail boss rear side load full with rear tack 5u 211 but give us a call, anybody on the sales team can help you out. These trailers are hard to come by. Again, this is a really well-equipped trailer that has hardly been used. So give us a call, 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day.